This is the Smart Espresso Profiler. This is a very interesting little device, but it's actually not just a hardware thing, it's a hardware and software thing. Let me explain. This, in my hand, is a digital pressure transducer that is Bluetooth enabled. That means it could send the pressure it was sensing to something like, I don't know, a smartphone. With the right software, you could read that pressure and maybe do something cool with it. L let me give you some context as to how this works when it comes to espresso. So this, I think, is the brainchild of a guy called Gabor Lasko. He is a coffee roaster. He is a video maker. He's made some very cool stuff, I'll link down below. And he's also a lever head. He loves lever espresso machines. He wanted to have a way of tracking what was going on when you're pulling a shot. But it's not just Gabor, there's another person involved as well. One of Gabor's customers, a guy called Miklos Chernady, he's a software guy. And he got involved to write the software piece to go with the hardware. The idea is this, you can attach this thing to anything that generates pressure and you can connect it to your telephone. And at the same time, you can connect your phone to say an Akaya Pearl set of scales. And at this point, you could monitor and potentially replicate what you're doing in a lever espresso. There are two types of lever machines. There is the classic kind of spring type where pulling the lever down compresses a spring and when you let go, the expansion of that spring generates the pressure. And then there's the second type of lever machine, which is a much more direct thing where you pulling down on the lever actually generates the pressure. These are the kind of things we've seen before like the flare or the rock or the robot. These are all direct pressure manual lever machines and they're cool and they're fun but it's difficult to really know what's going on. Even if you've got a gauge to be accurate and repeatable, that's really tough. Now, humans are good at some things and we're good at having fun making coffee, but we're pretty terrible at pulling levers repeatably. This might just be a solution to that problem. In order to explain it and demonstrate it, I'm going to need to make some coffee and I'm gonna need a coffee machine to make it on. So let's grab one. What I have here, is an Olympia Cremina. These are very cool little direct lever machines. They're a little bit culty, they're very cool, they're very beautiful as you can see. Now Gabor very kindly modified this one for me so that I could use the Smart Espresso Profiler with it. Now there is gonna be a review of this machine coming. It is gonna be given away at the end of it as always. Thank you to all the Patreon backers I have that allow me to go and buy this, review it honestly and then give it away. These will actually be given away together because obviously this has been modified to work with this and it only seems fair that they go to a home together. Very simple, this just kind of screws in. And now we can turn this on and get it hot. We are on, we're ready to go, the machine is hot, it is time for us to pull some espresso. To do that, to use this thing, we've got to use our phone. So there's an, there's an app, it's a very nice app, if I'm honest. It's called the SE Profiler app, you can download it if you want to, have a little look around. This is the main screen for it. And to get going, you would swipe and then open up devices and make sure you were connected to your pressure transducer and also to your Akaya. I think at the moment only the Akaya Luna, I think, is uh, supported. It's good little scale, it's expensive though, but this is about the best anyway. So here is your setup screen for what you're gonna do. Right now it's a blank template because right now I have no target profile set, but I can record one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some coffee. Now this little thing doesn't take a sort of huge dose. We're going to use 14 grams in here. and I'm going to get 14 grams of ground coffee. And when you put your dose on the scale and it says 14.1 in the app, I can set that as my starting dose. How very nice. So let's get ready to brew. Now this is not going to be a perfect shot because I just want to talk you through how the app works. So I don't really care how this goes, but it'll be interesting. So, scale, cup, zero. Now when I hit start, it will start logging both the weight here and the pressure at the sensor. Let's begin. Now with this machine, when you lift the lever, we're gonna get a little pressure reading here. Now, as soon as I start to push down, you can see the pressure climb. Now, a seated position is not the easiest position to produce a decent, you know, leverage. But here, you know, six bars, I'm doing okay. And I can choose to gently ramp that down. I can see the mass in the cup climbing up, climbing up, climbing up, and I can see my brew ratio. I've hit the end there. 
let the pressure dissipate naturally. And lo and behold, once it stops, I can hit stop, and there I have a profile. And I can see my brew time, I can see my pre-infusion, I can see my mass in the cup, I can see my brew pressure. Now, if this just so happened to be the best espresso of my life, which is, well, I'm not gonna say likely, but it's not unlikely, it's not impossible, but let's say it is, well, I can save this profile, right? Uh, and I can look at my history, I can come in here, and I can set as a reference. This means if I wanna replicate this exact shot, I would need the same grind, same dose, all that kind of stuff, but I've got a template to work with. Shall we see if I can do exactly the same thing again, just for a bit of fun? So if I'm honest, that was not, that was not the greatest shot, but that's not the point right now. Let's, uh, let's go, let's replicate this thing. Here we go. Oh, I went early. Now the grind is just too coarse here actually, but I can sort of reasonably accurately, see if I can tail that down at the same time. And you can see my, my mass in the cup is trailing a little bit, but it's gonna end up ultimately at the same weight, unsurprisingly. There we go. So you can see my attempt very quickly at replicating a curve. Now, I'm not giving myself excuses, but it's not the easiest thing to do sitting down, but that's not really the point. The point is I have beautifully and simply a lot of information about what's going on here. And that's really useful. That's really interesting. It makes this thing that is a little bit of a dark art, you know, how to really pull repeatable shots on a direct pressure lever machine. Well, it kind of opens that up it makes it entirely possible. And what's more interesting is that I could put this same thing onto a flare and I could pull a shot on this thing and then I could go and replicate as closely as possible the same pressures, the same mass in the cup, therefore the same kind of grind setting on a whole other machine. Now it was actually John from Decent Espresso that put me onto them in the first place. And I think in future, there's gonna be an integration between Decent Espresso machines and the SEP. I think the SEP software will ship on Decent tablets, but watch this space. I'm not gonna to say too much, but the possibilities get pretty exciting if you're interested in messing around with the way that pressure and flow and all that stuff interact inside one of these machines. Previously, I have made videos covering the, the software that goes with smart scales. And I was not complimentary because it was all awful. It brings me a great deal of pleasure to use an app that is intuitive and beautiful, simple, presents all the information I need. I think this is a really well done app. I think they've done a fantastic job. And they had to really, because this setup is expensive. I think it's about $400. That is not a small amount of money. That's expensive. But if you've got one of these, if you spent a few thousand on something like this, well, for a small price in comparison, you get a whole new level of insight into what is going on and a whole set of tools around how to brew better espresso. Now, while the app is very simple and very intuitive, if you wanna make it a more detailed logging experience, you can certainly do that and you can start to log quite a lot of information about a roastery, about the beans, roasting date, description, color, operator. All of the stuff is there if you wanna get super, super nerdy. If you really wanna track all of this stuff, that's very easy to do. Now for me, I don't wanna log every detail. I'm happy with my weight in, weight out, brew time, brew pressures. If I wanna set something as a reference curve, that's, that's enough for me. I don't wanna go crazy, but if you want it, it's absolutely there. So overall, I really like the app. I think having pressure to 0.01 of a bar with low latency is kind of amazing. I think that detail is wonderfully presented. I think they've done a really, a really good job. So overall, uh, I'm pretty impressed. I think it's pretty fantastic. I will say that I probably have a little bias in this because Gabor has been so helpful with everything from the beginning. And, you know, I kind of encountered his stuff before I really understood that. He'd built the original pressure gauge for the flare in my old review, but I, I just didn't really understand that connection and I messed that up quite badly. So apologies, very delayed apologies, but apologies for getting that so wrong. It's expensive. It's really well made. Changing the battery on it is very simple. That's the only maintenance you would need to do to it. Installation on many things will be relatively easy. 
I, I, I think this is a great tool. I imagine myself, I see myself using this in a host of different applications and having some fun. And Gabor does cool stuff. And I would like to do some cool stuff with him in the future. So maybe we will. Watch this space. Now, as I said, this is not a review of this particular espresso machine. That is coming. I'm working on that. That will be uh, after this and these things in combination. This profiler, this machine will be given away to somebody somewhere in the world who can use 230 volt power. And, and that will make me happy. But that's a future review. So once again, thank you to Patreons for supporting this channel, for giving me a budget to go and buy this stuff and give you honest reviews. It's cool what you can do with it. I think there are a lot of uses out there. If you are making manual espresso like this in any form, I think it's worth considering if you want to dive deeper and understand more about what you're doing. It's expensive. I get that, but it's a small run. It's a small company. And I, I think they're doing something cool. It's nice to see tech in coffee be really well executed. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you have one? Is anyone watching who's got one of these things too? Do you use it all the time? Do you love it? What kind of things have you learned from it? Is there something you didn't see me do? Is there something you want me to show off about this? Let me know. If there's something really interesting, I'll probably throw it up on Instagram at some point. So follow me there. There's a link in the description down below. But for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.